In today's gaming news, Diablo 3's Reaper of Souls expansion gets a release date, the Steam holiday sale is underway, and the next Mass Effect game is currently playable, just not by you. Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Force here with today's gaming news. First up today, Diablo 3's Reaper of Soul expansions finally has a release date. The game will be coming out on March 25th, 2014 for the PC and Mac. No PS4 date has been announced at the moment. Uh, the game is also currently available for pre-orders, but get this, it is priced at $39.99. That is for the standard edition, a deluxe edition also available for $59.99, which includes a Spectral Hound mini transmog gear, uh, treasure goblin wow pet, and some SC2 decals. I have to be perfectly honest, I'm a little surprised. I was expecting this to come in at $29.99, and I know that's only a $10 difference, but um, I don't know, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be surprised. This is just something that I had in my head as to what the price of this expansion would be, and you know, maybe, I, I, maybe I'm just completely off base, but it just seems like it's $10 too much. That's just my opinion though. I'd like to know what you guys think about the pricing of the expansion. Now, with that said, it's a damn good looking expansion. We got an awesome new class. We've got a brand new act, which I'm liking so far. And there's some, been some fantastic improvements to the overall game, specifically the loot system and the exclusion of the auction house. It's just a matter of how much you're willing to pay for all of that. That's up to you guys. All right, moving on. Speaking of paying things, we've got some great deals currently thanks to Steam's holiday sale. You know, it was just not too long ago we were talking about the GOG DRM free winter sale, which is still going on right now, by the way. Well, now you can save even more thanks to Valve. If you head on over, there are currently daily deals on titles like Dead Island, Batman Arkham Origins, Bioshock Infinite, and Dishonored. Flash sales currently for CSGO, Dive Kick, Typing of the Dead, and Guns of Icarus Online, and then the Community Choice where you get to vote on a sale, choosing now between The Dust and Elysian Tail, FTL, and Shadow Run Returns. Just PC gaming, man. You can do it for so cheap. You have that huge investment in the initial rig, but even that can be argued because you can buy a nice mid-range PC for five to six hundred dollars. Anyways, it's it's the holiday. It's a great time to be a PC gamer. You get you're off of school, you know, you're snowed in, play a bunch of games. It's a good time. So go ahead, head on over to Steam. And also, again, don't forget about GOG.com's winter sale, uh, both of which are happening at this very moment. Something else that is also happening at this moment is someone somewhere is playing the next Mass Effect game. Just not you. According to a tweet from Aaron Flynn, who is the general manager of Bioware Edmonton and Montreal, he said he had a great time playing the next Mass Effect game in Montreal. It's ambitious, beautiful, fresh, but recognizable, and fun. So, what did we glean from this? We glean the fact that there is a playable state for the next Mass Effect game, and anyone who's a fan of that series should be excited about it. I particularly am very much excited about this. I know that the series got a bunch of flack because of the end of the last Mass Effect game, but I just have to say, if the entire experience you have over the course of a series you think is fantastic, which i that's how I personally feel about Mass Effect, and you just don't like the end, which is but, it's an important part, but it's but a small part, of the series. I can't I can't say, I know there are people out there who are, oh, Mass Effect sucks because the end of Mass Effect 3, I hated it. But you know what, I, I didn't care much for the end of Mass Effect 3 either, but I still love Mass Effect and I'm still super stoked for the next Mass Effect. I'm hoping they just continue to push the game and push the genre and you know, it, it's next gen man, we've got better hardware, so do some great stuff with it. That's gonna make the game better all around, including for us PC gamers. One last thing I want to let you guys know today, not a major headline, but there is a free-to-play trial version of Defiance that is now unlimited. It used to be restricted, but now you can do it as long as you want. There are still leveling restrictions, basically, um, but you can still play Defiance for as much as you want. And I wanted to mention that because I liked what I played of Defiance, and uh, the fact that you can jump in, play it for free, and, and just putz around, I think maybe it's worth giving it a look. I thought it was a fairly decent third-person shooter, especially for an MMO. I thought they did a pretty, pretty decent job with it. So check it out, free trial, uh, if you haven't already. And that's going to do it for today's episode of the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been Force-fed. No PS4 release date is announced at the moment, although that will be coming in the future. Hey, Cat, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to record a video. Do you... <laughs> Do you know that I'm trying to record a video?
and you're nuzzling my arm. I'm standing here, I'm doing my thing, and the cat's like, what do you, I can't do my work. I can't do my work with you here like this. This is ridiculous. Some of you guys gotta see this. Look at this, look at this guy, all right? He is just ruining my day. Kitty. Simba, hey, Simba, look at me, look at me. Hey, look, no, look at me, not my hand, look at me. He just, he doesn't listen.